03 model Toyota Camry. The wheel bearings are shot. They're making a ton of noise. So we're in the process of removing the spindle out of the wheel bearing. This is a little bit of a savage way of doing it. I'm sure there, there are better ways of doing it. This is just how I do it. Um, the idea here is to push the spindle out of the bearing. So let's try to do that. So now with the spindle removed, the next step is to grab a die grinder and to cut this bearing race so that we can remove it out of here. And on this one, we have a C-clamp that retains the bearing inside this housing. The easiest way to remove it is with long needle nose pliers. So we'll grab our needle nose. There it is. Now we gotta set this on the press to push this whole bearing out. We'll press the new bearing in. We'll cut this bearing race off of here. And we'll be almost done with this bearing. So I've taken this one off. I took the die grinder and I cut as much as I could without damaging this piece even though my kid comes with a new one of this, a new spindle and then I grab a chisel with a hammer I give it a good hit and it cracked this housing and then what I did is I slowly started beating this housing out of the off of the uh, spindle so that's ready, the next step is to go to the press and to remove the old bearing from the knuckle. I've got my press set up to try and remove this uh, bearing off of this knuckle. So let's try to do that. That is one stuck there. There is the old noisy bearing. I set this knuckle on here using a socket and spare metal pieces that I have laying around. That's the bearing removed, so now we go ahead and install a new one. So here we have the brand new bearing and the brand new spindle that came in the parts I ordered online.
now we're gonna go ahead and set up the knuckle so we can press that bearing in and we'll go from there so I'm gonna go ahead and use the old bearing to press my new bearing in I'm trying to press on the outer part of the bearing I do not want to press on the inside part of the bearing like I was saying right now we're pressing the outside part of the bearing so we don't want to press on the inside part of the bearing to not mess up the seal or anything else so we'll go ahead and set this bearing up on top And we'll go ahead and press this brand new bearing in. We'll press it until it bottoms out. So that's our brand new bearing pressed in. Our next step is to install the C-clamp. And after we put the C-clamp, we can go ahead and press our brand new spindle into its place. And then we'll be ready to install the whole, uh, you know, the whole part with the brand new bearing back on the car. So let's try that. Let's put our C-clip back on. So we're gonna go ahead and try to install the C-clip. There it is, it's installed. The next step is to go ahead and press the spindle back in place. And this one is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and use an old bearing race to place right here. So when I press the knuckle onto the spindle, I don't shoot, you know, I don't press this lug nuts. This starts out, you know. Anyways, let's put this on. We're going to be pressing against the in inside part of the bearing. So we need to find something suitable that will fit just right over the inner race. In this case, I'm going to be using this one, this fair piece of metal that I have. It fits perfect. This is a connecting rod out of a 60 series. Detroit Diesel. It bottomed out. And there we have it. Our brand new bearing and spindle install. This is ready to go back on the car. And she'll be nice and quiet now. I got one more side to do, but this video. It's only going to cover the one side because it's basically the same thing on both sides. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.